Hey, how you guys doing today? Uh, I shot a video yesterday. Me spraying this. Me spraying these uh, these doors and these fenders with some uh, not more poly. And um, the video got real blurry and stuff. I don't think the uh, the phone could focus with the old spray and stuff. So I just deleted the video. I know I think um, um, Film it, but anyway, I got all the uh, I got all the primer on here, the high build primer, and uh, I got some guide coat on it. I want to go ahead and sand this and see where we're at. See if we got any low spots. See if these doors and these fenders need any more work. And uh, we're just going to do it the same way. I'm going to start off with some 120 because um, we're still shaping. We're still, you know. Um, making sure all the low spots and stuff around the doors, make sure there's no low spots, no, nothing that we missed. And then uh, once we put some K2 on here, then we'll go to a 220, 324 average. Um, it's a solid color, so your final sanding will probably be a 400. You know, if you get into a metallic and stuff like that, then you'll probably want to, your final sanding will be a 600. Grit, but we're just going for it. It's going to be solid black. So uh, let's get started. Let's see where we're at. I'm kind of curious. This stuff is set over all, uh, is set up all night. It's all nice and cured out. And it looks good. Um, put some fresh paper on this. I like these. Blocks. 120. All right. Put some paper on here real quick, and we'll see what we got. I hope these videos are helping you guys out. I mean, I know there's probably a trillion billion videos out there, which I know there are, because and uh, there's a lot of body work, body sanding. Uh, tips and tricks and stuff like that and uh, but you know maybe I can throw something out there that you guys haven't heard of or haven't seen it might help you out uh, we'll see all right let's see where we're at So far, it's not looking too bad. We we'll make a couple more passes here. Let's get the camera over here a little closer. You can see the benefits of this guy coat. Oh, it really pays off. Get the guy coat over there. I see no spot. I'll show it to you here in a second. It's a visual guide. Thank you. 
Side right here a little bit. This is where what they did was let it pull out. The first thing coat the body filler over there. See, uh, you see how well it turned out. Could be a little low right there. Standing up to this body line. And once I get it to where I want it to be, I'll just knock that edge off of it so it ain't so pointy. Contour polyester primer surface, and this stuff stacks really thick. It's really high build. And uh, I bet that other door over there that I was showing you on another video had a bunch of little low spots in it. I guarantee you, they're gone. So that's what I was saying uh, yesterday when I was filming some videos that. You don't have to be perfectly straight with bare steel. I mean, you can have a little dent, a little mis imperfections and stuff. That's what this is for. It's a body filler to fill in, skin coated body filler to fill in stuff that, that you know it's going to need some attention. But these these high build pop, these high build poly primer surfacers and K2 poly surfacers, they will take care of a lot of that imperfection. Let me stand on this while I get the camera down here. And uh, let you see how straight this is turning out to be. Show you all the most spots and stuff like that. I won't stand them all out just so you can get a visual guide to so see how tough they are. They'll stand out.
I'll take the spender down for right now. Now this is where, on the spender, is where I knocked out a ding which they, uh, that I missed. And I did some pretty good, I got that body work out there, or I did the body work on there and got that ding out. And right over here is that other little ding that I missed. And we're gonna see where we stand on them here a little bit too. But for now, let's get it out of the way. I'm almost done here. We make a couple of passes on the side of the door. And then uh The other door wasn't bad. This door needed quite a bit of attention. I said it's side quite. It had a couple of grooves. One down the bottom, one down the top. Big dent right here. I got them pulled out. Put some, uh, put some sort of body filler on. Now you can see, see it's a little low there. And you can see that guide cove, man. It just stands out. I got a low spot right there. Now this stuff's gonna stand out. This right here, I didn't really get down in here too much, but that'll stand out. Here's another low spot. Now you can see that as I was sanding, it's just starting to get into that guide cove. A couple more passes through there, that'll be gone. And over here, this is where the big dent was. Now, down here, you can see right here, I got a little dip right in there. I'm gonna try to sand on a little bit more. It might come out. If not, yeah, it might come out. But if not, I might just put just a, just a hair right there, just a little bit of body filler, smooth that out, straighten it back up. But as you can see, I got a little spot right here. I mentioned that a minute ago, it'll, it'll sand out. It's straight. I like it. And um, this is body line. I'm going to work it a little bit more and uh, get it nice and crisp. And then we'll do a wet check. I'll do a wet check and show you what I'm talking about with the wet check. You can put some uh, pre prep on here and um, let your light, sh your shop lights reflect to it. Or I got a little spotlight I'll put on there. And uh, just cause it kind of represents your clear coat. Once you get it painted, it'll represent your clear coat. That's what it's gonna look like when it's cleared. And it'll stand out. It'll tell you know, it'll tell you. I see a little wave. You guys see that? See that little wave up there in that body line? I need to try to work that out a little bit. Let's see what we can do with it. See if we can get these other dark spots out. I just wanted to show you that guide coat. And uh It just takes time. 
Make it perfect. You want that really nice paint job. Yep, and up. Yeah, put the arms in the same one. But like I said yesterday, it'd be well worth it. I think it's just uh this is probably pretty so I don't know if I Now I'm going to do the other side like this too. Tape up to the Stand up to the tape, and when I pull it off, you're going to see how laser straight, how crisp that body line is. I do it like that. But you can still see some dark right in here, it goes right here, it's nice and clean. So I think a lot of that will disappear too when I roll the teeth off of that body line right after I get it where I want it. Right here, just sanding it out. I don't know how pretty it was. So, you ain't got to get that all the way out because once you put a coat of K2 on here, with K2 on there, it'll take care of that. That little low spot right there. Spot right there, I was telling you about, I was saying about. 
Now, you can see it's a lot straighter. This right here probably needs more work, but I think after I hit it with some K2 over this poly, it'll straighten up. Now, I'm gonna do a wet check here. Just spray some pre-prep on there. You'll see what I'm talking about. Of course, it needs some, still needs work. But I don't know if I can get a camera shot there, that light. That's just a 120, but it's just giving you a visual look. I mean, you can kind of, it's kind of hard to see the body line. It's a lot easier to see this in person than to try to get it on camera. But it's just another tool you can use. You can wet check it. You can look at it. Really see where you're at on it. And uh, see if you need to do some more straightening. See if you need to straighten it out a little bit more. I've still got some sanding to do on this. 
Then I'm going to hit the fenders. I'm going to try to hit the other door. I'll hit the fender that goes to this passenger side. Finish sanding this up. Because I believe I'll try to hit this sand a little bit more. See if I can get that out. <clears throat> and again, that's just the power of the guide coat. I mean, if you didn't have that on there and I was sanding, it'd be very hard to see that. But don't fear sanding this up, and uh, I'll get on the fender and uh, see how dialing the uh, body lines on the fender and stuff and get that done and uh, give you some more sanding techniques. I'll be right back with you.